Hey guys, it's me Trish, and if you want to look like a giant slice of pizza, then keep on watching. If you want to do a pizza like me, I have felt paper, glue gun, scissors, glue, pencil, yarn, and I use a yellow poster board and a brown poster board for my actual pizza. Mushrooms are like one of my favorite toppings, so I just drew some outlines of different size mushrooms and then I cut those out to glue onto my pizza. As you can see here, I also cut out pepperonis out of red felt paper. Later, I do sausage as well. So if you want to be fancy like me and have mozzarella cheese and what do we call this cheese cheddar? I don't know. I just put both of these felt papers together and shishered them and I'm going to cut this way and save myself some time and effort and just slice them all. Notice that I drew an outline on my poster board before I actually cut it. Don't guess. Draw it first. I recommend buying a cool glue gun if you're going to do many projects. I don't normally use really cheap glue guns like this. This was $3. They suck. They worked, but they suck. I have a fancy one, but of course it's in storage. I also cut out a line for sauce. This is it so far. So I decided to make my own costume this year to be cute. And I wanted a cartoon pizza and all the pizza I found was like all slimy, greasy, like real pizza. Ashley helped me. We cut and cut and cut and cut and cut felt paper because I wanted it to have like a 3D effect. So let's hold it to the shard. You can see the cheese and stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. It's very fuzzy. It feels beautiful. I like it. Looks delicious. Yeah, so we cut out pepperonis. She gave me the idea to cut out sausage. So that was cool. Mushrooms are my favorite thing on pizza besides cheese, obviously. Um, I decided to go with white and yellow cheese because the white, they put mozzarella on it. And at first we both thought it was going to be weird. We're yeah. like, oh, this is going to look dumb. But I think it gives a nice little melted look to it, don't you? Yeah, it also brought out the other colors too. Yeah. Kept looking at cartoon pizza and everybody had these green guys. Some kind of peppers, I don't know. So she had construction paper, so we just added them in there. And here's our red sauce. And I took just a large piece of brown felt and wrapped it over for a crust. And her idea was to do stuffed crust pizza. I put in yarn. So when we get this finished, it's going to look like that. Like a little stuffed crust. I like it. And then the back, i got to get this white thing off. But this is going to be the bottom of the pizza because you know how it's always brown, you know, after it bakes. So, Looks like crust anyways with yeah, the lines kind of does. So, so I'm going to have to get two more of these. I think I have one though. Anyway, it's a fold on the back because you know the back shot yeah. has crushed also. I wasn't thinking of that. Yes. Yeah. So and then we'll cut holes and to where set it up over us. This will be behind me. That'll be in front. You'll see later when it's done. Anything else you want to yeah. add to this video, ma'am? Just that you're really creative and I had fun doing it. I had fun too. Oh. We did. We had so much fun. It was. We may have been a little intoxicated. And my daughter, Adrienne, wants to be in the video. Hi, Adrienne. She loves pizza. Pizza? Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, we like laughed and laughed. I mean, we did this for several hours. Yeah. It was a long <laughs> yeah. time. I mean, my fingers were sore. Yeah, from it out looked so simple many things. and easy, which it was, but it was still time consuming and a lot of work. Yes. For your hands. A lot of work. You have to really want this project. Yeah. You gotta have patience. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. So, I wanted to make a hair bow pizza just to put something in my hair. So I literally just took yellow felt, cut out a little triangle, used that little hair clippy guy, glued some ribbon on the inside, as you can see in just a moment. Yes, right there. That way it doesn't get all sticky and stuff because hot glue is messy. And then just decorated the pizza clip. I'm 
Okay, so I had to get some assistance with this part because when you put it on, it can flop off and just be awkward or it can be too tight. So that's why I didn't put a hole in mine. This looks really cheap and terrible right now, but you won't see this when it's on. So I literally just put the hot glue on the strings. I'll show you when it's on. But my friend helped me tie this where it needed to go. So we left it long until I measured it on myself. Okay, so what I was talking about, look how terrible and cheap this looks. Oh, we can't see, we can't see. Yes, it looks cheap, but look, now you can't see it because it's against my body, so it didn't matter, okay? You could always cut out holes and put the string through it, but I could just see a tragic event happening if I did that and it would rip and we ain't doing it. We ain't risking it. So that's why I glued mine. Oh, and you just gotta adjust it. So see, it was nice to have my friend help me out because he just tied it where it should fall. That way I knew, okay, I want this like this. I don't want to be a sexy pizza and showing some stuff. I just want to be normal. So I should tie it right there. So I just had this yellow dress already. You don't have to go buy a yellow dress. I just thought it was nice and I already had it. It was just hanging in the closet. So I just thought yellow would match, right? And then I have, I can't, I can't. <laughs> brown leggings and brown boots. My fancy bow. I'm my favorite thing, I'm my favorite thing. I just really like how it's 3D looking. <laughs> I would love to hear what you guys think of this costume in the comments down below. Remember to give it a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and share it with all of your friends. I would really appreciate that. If you want to be my very best friend, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to stalk me, I listed all of my social media in the description bar down below. If you recreate this look, please hashtag it as Trish Pizza. And make sure you do it on Instagram because I probably won't find it anywhere else unless you share it specifically to my Facebook page. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!